Hello, this is Mikey. Uh, I'm going to show you some of my toys that I have. Um, when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of toys, so I guess you could say I'm going through like a second childhood. Anyhow, first one I want to show is this one. This is one of my favorite memory toys type of thing that, you know, in the past someone bought me. And it kind of went with who I am as far as, you know, some people get you a pair of socks or some cologne or whatever. And it's like big deal as far as that's not really what, you know, I would want. And yeah, I was into Sega Genesis a lot. And uh, my ex-wife's brother bought me this, Albert. Actually, the family bought it for me. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, it went with who I am. I love video games and there's Sonic the Hedgehog. This is my Fred Flintstone. And there's what he looks like. And this is my Scooby. I picked him up in South Carolina at a yard sale, believe it or not, for a dollar. This is like a 15 inch tall Scooby. I love him. I have a Scooby blanket. It's in one of my other videos. It's in my Hey Christina video. The big blanket. Um, this is my Chucky. And uh, I had a big Chucky, which was freaking four foot tall. And uh, I had him for, I don't know, a couple weeks. And this lady, she really fell in love with him. And uh, she wanted him real bad. So at the time, I kind of needed some money. So I ended up selling it to her. Because as soon as she saw that doll, you know, he's like four foot tall. He's cuter than this guy. I mean, this guy's cute, but he was way cuter than this guy. Um, she started talking to him like he was a little baby. And, oh, my God, you could tell she was really in love with it. Otherwise, I would have never sold it to him. I would have never sold him to her. And, uh... That's my Chucky. And here's my Joe. And I picked him up in South Carolina for I think two fifty or two dollars. And I believe he's a Duke G.I. Joe. And one way you can tell I found this out through YouTube videos, one way you can tell if he's a real Joe is uh the thumb. See there's no fingernail no, on that thumb. But if you spin his hand around, and you look closely, there's a thumbnail. And that's one way you can tell uh, they did it that way. And then there's a scar on his face. Okay, now going to my cars. This is one of my cars I got. This is a 1970 Shelby. It's real nice. It's an SS. This is like my dream car as a kid growing up. I saw one. It was real badly rusted, but I wish I could have bought one, you know, and fixed it up. And this here is a 1968 Ford Mustang. It's pretty nice. Okay, this here is a Marvin the Martian. Chevy Monte Carlo. Pretty nice. And this is a Chevy Monte Carlo as well, but this is Yosemite Sam. And this is Monte Carlo as well. This here is Speedy Gonzales. The Looney Tunes guys, basically all three of those. I really like this car. And if you're gonna be a toy person, you gotta have a Toys R Us. This is a Toys R Us number 54, Monte Carlo. I love Monte Carlos. Um, 
many moons ago, back around 1990, I saw a uh, Chevy Monte Carlo. It had uh, it was it was real sharp. It was you know like this one, the way it styled like that, but it had raised red edgings on the tires, and it was an SS, and oh man, it was beautiful. I really liked it. Here's my Chevy Malibu. No, it's a Chevy 55 Chevy. These I picked up in uh, South Carolina at the flea market. Believe it or not, for a buck each, these are worth more than a buck. Um, this is a Hot Wheels M&M's. This here's a Kellogg's Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger, what is this? This is a Really say does it? I don't, I don't know. I don't really say what kind of card it is, and I'm sure it does somewhere, but it would take me forever to look it up on there. Now this is definitely a Chevy. I'm pretty sure it is a Chevy. Yeah, it's a uh, Chevy, Chevy Impala, Chevy, Chevy. Oh, Chevy. Chevy Bel Air 55. This is a Chevy Bel Air 55. This is also Kellogg's. It's got the cornflake uh, thingy on the hood. Sweet little car. And this is one of my Scoobies. Picked this up in uh, South Carolina as well for cheap. And let's see, there's my Ford right there. And there's Dr. Evil. Picked him up in Cleveland. And there's uh, Mr. Gigglesworth. At least that's what I use. It's not really Mr. Gigglesworth. I just substituted. There's my Joe. It's uh, Storm something Joe. It's uh, G.I. Joe back there. It's a brat stall. It's uh, my wife's as far as she got it from a girlfriend. And there's uh, Luke Skywalker with a football helmet on. His uh, face mask is down here. That's Luke Skywalker when he fell in the trash compactor and all that and he was in a Stormtrooper outfit. There's my Chuck E. Cheese. Here's my WMMS mug, my Elvis. And this here car right here, uh, I picked it, picked it up at a flea market in Painesville, Ohio. And I paid like, I think, 10 or 12 bucks. Maybe not, 8 bucks I think I paid for it. Now I really like uh, Tony the Tiger, the cartoon character. And Kellogg's products in general, so. It's, you know, a slick looking car. Got them under glass. And then I have my 1967 Shelby up there. And then my 1963, 1963 Chevy Stingray Corvette. And there's my other Joe right there. If that Joe looks familiar, it is from an M&M's ad. No, not M&M's. Mars, I guess a Mars company ad. You know, the people who make M&M's and stuff. Uh, it was in uh, it was in a bag of candy. Uh, they had like a picture in there, you know, with a Joe set on a shelf just like that. And uh, I really liked it. I looked all over creation for it, and I couldn't find it. One day I found it. And that's the Joe that was in that advertisement. For, uh... I believe it was uh, Milky Ways. Yep. And I really liked it, so I found it and I got me one. Yeah, that's all my junk. 
This is Mikey X 007 signing off.